you have a couple of different knobs and buttons. So you have essentially three sets. You've got this rotating knob, which you can also press in like an enter button. Um, let me hold that a bit so you guys can also. So you've got this rotating knob that you can use to select different menu items. You can use it as an enter button with a, a quick press. And you have that exact same thing replicated here with just a, a hard key uh, scenario. So left, right, up, down, and an enter button. Um, this is a back key, I think, if I remember correctly, a back key. Yeah, this is a back key. If you press the stop button once, it acts like a back key. If you hold the stop button down, it either changes menu or stops the data collection, depending on which mode you're in. Start is to start uh, scanning. So you do your, all, your setup, and then when you're ready to scan, you press start, and then off you go. And that is a marker switch, which puts marks at the vertical marks in the data. So let's say you went over a, uh, a tree root, and you, you see the root in your data, you can go back and mark it and say, okay, that mark at X, Y, X, X position is, is a tree root or whatever. Uh, so that's a little handy thing. Power on and off. Uh, and that's basically it. So the ports here, and why we got them. So uh, no, so this uses the, the communications cable to do power and the marker switch. Uh, the marker port there is if you have an external marker button. So you would be using a different console to this normally. We have different consoles and some of them don't have this marker switch function on them. So if you wanted a marker, then you'd use an <coughs> external marker. So this is a, a digital uh, cable for digital antennas, such as the 350 is a digital antenna. We also have older analog antennas, uh, which use a much bigger cable, 19 pin cable. Um, so you can use this console with uh, older style antennas. You would just use a, an analog cable. Um, yeah, and I can't remember what that, that's the accessories port. Um, and I'll be honest, I can't remember what that port's for, but it'll be in the manual. You'll have to edit that in, I'm afraid. Um, then, uh, we've got an HDMI out there, which we'll use now to do the display. I suppose the idea is that you could also collect data and without having to have a computer, you can go show your, your client or whatever, what the data looks like. Um, that's just a normal USB key. So this is where you would put a USB stick in to take the data off the system. Um, battery on that side and on this side, you have an ethernet port. <coughs> uh, sorry, battery that side. The side you have an Ethernet port that you can actually set this up as a as a um, point of presence on your on your uh, network. Uh, but to be honest, so it can be connected to a PC. Yeah. yeah so you can connect it to a to a network. Yeah. Okay. So this is this would just become okay. a, a a device on a network. Oh, okay. um, I've, I've never done it because it's actually easier just to put a USB stick in there and take the data off. To be honest. Right, so we'll go through. Oh, that's uh, RS232 port for your ex external GPS. What actually happens is when we, when we connect this, this is a, it's got a smart antenna. So the antenna knows a little bit about itself. Um, so once we connect it to and power up, the antenna actually tells the console what, what it is. So it's a smart antenna. So the console will then uh, load specific sets of antenna filters so your your low pass and your high pass filters um so i think that's that answers the question you can't set them i don't think uh with the digital antenna um but with uh analog antennas you can go in and you can actually set your your low pass and your high pass uh, thresholds so but that's only because the system doesn't know you have to tell it what the antenna is with an analog system the digital system it's a smart system so it actually knows it just sets up that we do have data filters um, we have a the most obvious one is a, um, a background what they call it background removal filter but it basically just removes horizontal uh, data um, i'll show you how that works